So recently I was doing a presentation about time blindness. I've been traveling a lot more and doing more presentations and somebody asked a great question and it was, what's it like or what kind of, what's the thought process behind being time blind? Like how do you wind up so damn late? And, and I explained it, but this morning I had like classic example of time blindness and what gets in my way. So I'm getting ready this morning for breakfast and I'm gonna have some oatmeal and I'm gonna put raspberries on it. So I swing over to the fridge, open the door. I'm looking for my raspberries, see the raspberries, but then I also notice this. See the plastic bag? That is pork chops. And those pork chops I'm in need of I have to give a huge shout out to Trevor Noah. He is part of our community, if you did not know. He also is, has some neurodiversity. And recently on his show, he's had this great little segment called, Why well, Ain't Got Time For That. And it, the phrase and the video and stuff just so stuck in my mind. So when my little minion said, oh my gosh, you've got to deal with these pork chops. Instantly, I saw that little video clip and went, I ain't got time for that. Just for a segment we call, Ain't Nobody Got Time For That. I was then able to go for my pork chop over here, able to go over to my sticky note center, write pork chop, and then stick that up on, and then stick that up on my cupboard. I have a small row of sticky notes like that of the little things that are brought to my attention that they need to be addressed, but I recognize I ain't got time for that. And so they need to go up on that. And when I do have a little bit of time for it, I will be able to handle that, but right now, Cutting up the pork chops, not a priority. Getting to my meeting on time was, and I did manage to do that. So there's a little insight into time blindness and a huge thank you to Trevor Noah. Just for a segment we call, ain't nobody got time for that.